What's up everyone, Kevin Wagstaff here with Spectora. Today we're gonna go through informational comment types, how they look in the template, and how they look on the report. It's one of the most common questions we get. So today we're gonna go through comment by comment, show you how it looks in the template editor and in the report editor, and then how it outputs to the report. All right, so we are in the report editor now. So I'm writing a certain report for this address and we have an informational comment here, checkbox comment. I'm gonna go in order of how they're presented when you create a new informational comment by clicking on the plus info and you save it to the template, it gives you a drop down of checkbox, multiple choice, date, number, numeric range, and signature comment types. So I'm gonna go through each one of these one by one. So the first and the most common is the checkbox comment. So what this is, is you're checking it or not, you're not checking it. Simple yes or no, um, typically used for things that just are there or not there. So you can see I have it checked off and there's a location tag here as well that you can use. And then there's additional comments uh, that you can add to it. So let's see how that looks on the report. Checkbox comment. And then you can also add the additional text here, shows up right underneath it. All right, so next let's go to the multiple choice comment type. I'll get back to this in attendance to show you how that reacts with photos in it. But multiple choice. So in the report editor, you see these three choices. You can have one, two, as many as you want. So we're gonna check off two of them here. And multiple choice right here. And you see the two materials checked off. Um, when you hover, you see the quick edit here, which allows you to make an edit to that. And then you have additional text down here and you're probably wondering where does that text, I don't see that text anywhere in the comment. We get this question a lot. So you see additional text here, you go into the report, but you don't see it anywhere here. What you need to do is expand the comment by clicking on these three dots. And there you see the text box. So just keep in mind that with any informational comment, you're going to have the text box uh, as an option to always add additional context to that comment. All right, got that one. So next let's go to the date comment type. So when you create that, and we'll expand it here to also show you the text box, you click there, you pretty much get a calendar to pick dates. Um, so let's show you how that looks on the report. And that is right here. Date comment type shows you the date, additional text, pretty straightforward. Let's go down to the number type comment, uh, number comment type. So here um, you can do pounds, uh, there's any type of metric you can dictate this when you create this comment type. So it doesn't have to be pounds, you can have multiple ones. Um, that's just something you choose when you go here. We'll do new informational, we'll go down to number. And then right here is your unit type choices. So whether that's kilograms, pounds, um, anything you wanna put there. All right, so the date or the number comment type, you put in a number here and it outputs on the report right here. So not a whole lot different. So I think what inspectors typically trip up on is thinking that these are gonna be drastically presented differently. You're really just giving data in a slightly different comment type. So that's how the number looks. And then now let's go to the numeric range comment type. So for right here, I have 10 to 20 years. Um, I see that typically used as a potential lifespan. We'll expand the comment again to show you that there is additional text that you can put into any comment. So you put in 10 to 20 years, let's flip back to the report and here you go. Pretty straightforward there. You got the new item is the name of the item if you're wondering. So. I actually named this item new item. So you're seeing that, and then you're seeing the name of the comment. So you got here the item, name of the comment, and then the data you put into that comment. All right, so now we're gonna say, why is in attendance down here at the bottom? It's a good question, even though it's up here. In attendance, there we go, we got the buyer's agent, and if you see this little three right here, it has photos in there. So let's expand that. You see the word test is in there. So that's additional text that'll show up in the comment. And then you have three photos. So per the rules of our smart layouts, so let's go back here and say, okay, that showed up at the bottom of that section. So let's go into this report template here 
and I'm going to show you what this is smart layouts for informational comments. So this we've done this to minimize white space in your reports to give a cleaner presentation. So it really prioritizes the short and the long comments for you. So if you click on this link here that says what does this look like. It's going to show you a quick um, screenshot here to say hey the short form comments which are we define as less than 75 characters are grouped into one third columns. So those are going to show up top and above first anything that's longer than 75 characters or has photos we're going to group that together and put it at the bottom of the informational section because when we did user groups and we did feedback rounds this just got the highest marks as the cleanest presentation instead of having these photos up top and it created a ton of white space so if you uncheck smart layouts you'll be able to just drag these comments up and down and they're going to show up in that order on the report. So just be aware um, it could end up taking you more time than it's worth as opposed to just learning how these present on the smart layouts. Um, I know some inspectors will tinker with this and spend unnecessary time, but also I, I understand and respect um, wanting the, that fine level of detail and, and knowing how it presents. Um, but hopefully this gives you a good understanding of the different informational comments and how they present here. One last thing I wanted to show you is that if I add a photo to any of these single informational comments, so I'm going to go into the checkbox comment. Let's add a photo here. All right, so we added a photo to the checkbox comment and remember it was previously right here. So we're going to refresh. Notice the checkbox comment went to the end of the short comments. So when you add a photo, um, and that's again just to preserve the layout of the report, minimize white space, we put the photo comments at the end. So it shows up fifth now because it has a photo there. So if you took that photo away, it put it back up front and group it with the shorter comments. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, um, but just know that that smart layouts option is there for you um, and to play around with if you click on the template title or the report title here, um, and that is in your display options. And that is also found in your template. So if you go to your template and click on the title, you'll see display options and smart layouts. All right, guys, thanks, take care.